SMT Nation, we back. We're going to be testing the iPhone 14 Pro Max, brand new phone from Apple. We've already done a little bit of testing. We did some Wi-Fi range testing, some Wi-Fi capacity testing, uh, comparing it to the previous generation, the 13 Pro. All right, so now we're testing the 14 Pro Max on AT&T 5G Plus. N77, we got a 40 megahertz channel of it. All right, whether it's the DoD, which is 3.45, or it's the actual C-band, or 3.7 gigahertz, same channel depth. We are not getting aggregation on the iPhone yet. We don't know if and when that's going to happen. We shall see. Here's a speed test for you guys here. I know the performance at this location in the front of the SMT HQ. 224 down, 8 up. That test in and of itself is pretty much the same I was seeing on the previous generation iPhone. About the same performance. Okay, so nothing really noticeable there. I was getting in the 200 to 300 range, depending on the test, for the downlink, and then on the uplink, anywhere between 5 and 20 megabits per second. So in my opinion, just based on anecdotal evidence here in testing the 13 Pro that I still own and have, uh, and now the 14 Pro Max, it's basically the same. I don't really see much of a difference here. We're going to go ahead and run a couple of more tests to see if I notice anything different. Okay, we got a little bit of a surge here. Uh, the downlink is a little bit better. It's a little improved. All right, about 248 megabits per second. We got 27 on the uplink, and that's that's really unusual. I don't typically see that type of throughput for uplink from this range. The, the site is probably just under a mile away or about a mile. All right, so in my opinion, I think that speed test right there is fair. It's pretty good. Uh, not bad at all. But it's not consistent. That's not typically what I see. So I and the one thing that I don't like with the iPhones is I can't see the frequency I'm connected to. So even though I could see what band I'm connected to, I can't distinguish between the 3.45 DOD or the 3.7 C band. I don't know. I'm connected to one of them. I'm not connected to both of them. And I can't really distinguish the two. All right, so 278 on the downlink about 12 megabits on the uplink. Very typical of what I saw on the previous generation iPhone. So at this moment in time, folks, if you upgrade from a 13 generation iPhone to a 14 generation iPhone and you have AT&T, you're probably not really going to see a difference. Uh, the one thing that you're gonna probably have in your back pocket though, and that's potentially, if the 3.7 happens to be congested because a lot more people have iPhone 12s and iPhone 13s, you could get some load balancing with the N77 in the lower part of the frequency range with the 3.45 DoD. All right, this test pretty good. 309 down. Looks like about 11 or 12 megs up. Okay, so that's, this is very characteristic of what I normally see. Not much different. Comment down below on the testing. You all the voice of the people, the SMT Nation. Let your voice be heard. Like, share, subscribe for more. Turn on the bell notification icon to never miss an upload. Links in the description for my Twitter, my Gmail for all business inquiries, my Patreon page. And now we got the join button. If you guys want to support us and get member exclusive access, become a member. Join us today. Thanks for watching. See you on the next one. Peace.